This plant was so useful. Acatillo is a signature plant of all the deserts in the southwestern U.S. and northern Mexico. So Sonoran, Mojave, and Chihuahuan deserts. Nothing else looks like it, and it's the only species in this genus in the U.S., although Mexico has four more. The name comes from the Nahuatl Ocoto torch, referring to the appearance of the flowering plant as well as its literal use for torches. The Cahuilla called this plant Otosh and used the plant several ways. They ate the fresh flowers or soaked them in water to make a sweet beverage, and the sari simply sucked out the nectar. The Cahuilla also ate the fruits and the seeds. They parched the seeds, ground them up, and formed cakes or ate them as mush. And the seeds contained 29% protein and 19% fats, and the flowers and fruits can be gathered from March to midsummer. The bark, leaves, and roots have been traditionally used for sore throat, tonsillitis, and cough. The roots have been used as a poultice on wounds, and a tea of the dry bark was drunk by the sari for any infections. An alcohol extract is said to improve lymphatic flow to the pelvic region, helping with menstrual problems and much more. The spiny stems were used by the cahuilla for fencing, suspending rows of two or three horizontally between posts, like barbed wire. And living fences can be made by burying the cut ends a few inches into the ground. The Tanaotham and Mexican Kickapoo also used the woody stems for constructing shelters and houses. When I first saw Acatillo, I had no idea.